Furthermore, what we have is a case of a sinking fund. Now, this is a kind of a contingency fund which every say a company or even sometimes even individual or housing societies provide as in suppose it's a housing society it collects from the members some fixed amount of small amount which it deposits as an annuity in a particular kind of a fund which accrues interest and which after a fixed period will amass into a good amount of wealth which can be used for some specific purposes so for example for any building for a housing society the sinking fund can be generated or can be created to uh, provide funds for painting the entire building or suppose there is a company or there is a manufacturing unit which is planning to buy a particular machine which is predicted to cost right now its cost is around 50 so it might be predicting it is predicted that it might cost around 60,000 so how much do you deposit now so that after 50 15 years you have around 60,000 rupees in your hand or 60 lakhs or whatever is the amount in your hand which can help you buy that particular machine. So this kind of a fund, fund that is created by depositing equal annuities and which accrues to a certain amount is going to be sinking fund. As the explanation I'm giving it's quite easy to understand that this is basically a kind of an annuity which will help you to calculate it's, so you're going to use the same annuity formula in this case and modify it to suit the context. So the best way of doing it is taking up a few examples. So basically it is a pool of resources. So the features are that the specific purpose example replacement of machine which may be damaged due to wear and tear or repayment of some loan. So there is some loan that has to be repaid you're paying as of such you don't have that amount so you're putting it in a fund which is going to pay you or some periodic payments which may start after five years for that you are collecting some amount and there is a specific rate of interest so there has to be periodic payments that have to be made just like an annuity and there is a specific rate of interest. So if you take these two points into account it, you can see very easily that it is a clear cut case of an annuity that you are providing for in future. So for example you have a machine which costs rupees 5,20,000 with an estimated life of 25 years. A sinking fund is created to replace it by a new model at 25% higher cost after 25 years with a scrap value realization of 25,000. So what amount should be set aside every year if the sinking fund investment accumulated at 3.5 compound interest? So after 25 years, this, you need to buy a new machine which costs 25% more than 5,20,000. So cost of machine 25 years hence is going to be 5,20,000 into 1.25. So it's going to be 5 into 1.25 which turns out to be 6,50,000 rupees. So you need to start depositing some amount so that at 3.5 compound interest you get this. But it is also told that this current machine will realize a scrap value of 25,000 after 25 years. So you don't have to collect 6,50,000 you need to collect only 6,25,000 is what you need to get. So this is the amount that you need to get. And to get this, you need to deposit some amount at 3.5% compound interest for 25 years. And so that it can provide 6,25,000. So 1.035 raised to 25 minus 1 and that will give you this. So let's see what we have 1.035 into 25. Okay.
So, when you calculate R, it turns out to be around 16,046 rupees 27 paise. That means if you start depositing 16,046 rupees now, then after 25 years, it will work out to 6,25,000. So, this is among these, the closest this is to it, this is 16,050. So this is how you are creating a sinking fund. So take into account all the aspects of it. And yes, we do have it at 16,050. Okay. Then a company establishes a sinking fund to provide for the payment of rupees 2 lakh, which is a debt maturity value in 20 years. That means after maturing, it turns out to be 20 years. So that means the amount that it has to occur to becomes 2 lakh and n is 20 years and interest is 0 0.05. Contribution to the fund are to be made at the end of every year. So it's an annual annuity you have to provide so that it becomes 2 lakh at the end of 20 years. Find the amount of each annual deposit. So we need to find R here. Right. So it's going to be A is equal to R upon I that is 0 0.05 into 1.05 raised to 20 minus 1. Minus 1. So it roughly R turns out to be 6048 rupees 51 paise, which is among these closest to 6049. So this will be our right answer. So you see that it's just a case of annuity. It's been slightly tweaked. The question has been slightly tweaked, but fundamentally it is a concept of annuity. Okay, right. Then, a sinking fund is created for redeeming, redeeming the ventures worth rupees 5 lakhs at the end of 25 years. So again, this 5 lakhs, you should understand that it is worth 5 lakhs at the end of 25 years. That means this again is a future value. How much provision needs to be made out of profit? So again, here you have the same concept, future value formula, that is A, 5 lakhs is equal to R. Interest rate is 0 0.04 into 1.04 raised to 25 minus 1. So, So here R turns out to be 12,005 rupees 98 paise which is roughly 12,006 rupees. So it turns out to be 12,006. Right. So right we do have it as 12,006.